The credo and the mission of the Producers and Engineers Wing is to create a forum where people that actually make the records, um, you know, that do the work have a platform that they can just talk to each other and interact with each other. And through that, you know, a lot of other things happen, um, charitable things, but also one thing that we all have in common is a quest for excellence in audio. And coincidentally, you know, we're living in a world now, we have high definition televisions and, you know, the greatest and the highest definition available in music and in video. And unfortunately, most people listen to compressed audio, to MP3s through $8 transducers, um, headphones, and they have the ability to really hear music like they've never heard it before. So part of our thing is to educate people and educate the public of what's available and what's possible and also to create an environment that we, the way we all work, that we have the best tools and the best techniques and, and we have a forum to communicate with, it, with each other and how to do that. Because a lot of that, the information on how to do this is handed down and shared. You know, it's hard, to, it's hard to learn it in a book. You really have to learn things by being in the room and coming up with situations and making music day after day. You have to remember that when you're uh, an engineer, mixing engineer, recording engineer, producer, a lot of times you're working in a void. You're not around your peers. You're in a room with the artist, or if you're mixing, you may be in a room by yourself. So you're never, you're rarely in a place that you're with your peers, that you can talk about things. So we created this forum and started to have get-togethers and mini conventions. And um, it started up taking up too much of my time. I was spending all my time doing that and not making a living and doing the thing that I loved. Going to meetings was not never my idea of a good time. I just wanted to be making records. So I approached um, uh, the Grammys. I went with Phil Ramone, as a matter of fact. And Mike Green was running the Grammys. And we met for breakfast and said, look, you know, we've got about 500 members of this thing and we want to run it. It should be part of the uh, Recording Academy. And it became that. And it started with 500 of us. It's up to 6,800. And now we're having a big party at the Village Recording Studios, the world famous Village Studios in West LA. People are anxious and eager to be, to not be alone. You know, in this age, a lot of us are, you know, working alone, especially you don't have to go to a big recording studio anymore to make music. If you've got a laptop, you've got a studio for the most part. So people, you know, want to be with each other, you know, and want to talk about what they do. Mostly they want to bitch and moan about what they do. You know, there's the joke, uh, you know what's wrong with recording engineers? Everybody else. <laughs> and it's pretty true. And that's why a lot of us, you know, work so hard and, and try to make music that sounds great, that when you hear this music coming out of speakers, it makes you feel something. You use you turn this technology into into real emotion. Mm -hmm.